it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about the area of a triangle. Now, up until now, we've only explored the area of a rectangle, which as you might remember is length times width. But today, we're talking about a triangle, so let's see how that might change. Well, first, the one thing that's different is we use some different terms instead of length and width when it comes to a triangle. We actually use the terms base, and base is that bottom that your triangle is sitting on and the height. Now one thing to keep in mind is that this formula that I'm about to give you it includes the base and the height and the height always comes from lines that are perpendicular. If you remember perpendicular lines form a right triangle. This is a right angle so we're always going to be looking for the height that is formed by two perpendicular lines. Now, here's your formula. One half base times height. Or another way to say it is base times height over two. Because one half times base times height is really base times height over two. Doesn't matter, whichever floats your boat is the easy way to do it. But let's actually put some numbers to it now. Let's say I had a base of three and a height of four. Well, let's follow the formula. One half times my base, which is three, times my height, which is four. Okay. And remember, when we're doing multiplication with a fraction, you multiply the numerators, you multiply the denominators, or you could always simplify ahead of time. Just for now, I'm going to show you with just multiplying everything across. Here we go. These threes and these four, this three and four have a one on the bottom. So we're going to multiply one times three times four, and we get 12. And then two times one times one. I know you can't see them, but they are there. Over two. When we simplify that, we get a six. Now, one thing I didn't give you was the label. Very important thing when it comes to area is it always needs a label. So let me give you, I meant to tell you these were millimeters. Yeah, they were. So that means that our label is going to be millimeters squared. Just like when we did rectangular area, we always had a label squared. And you can say it either way, millimeters squared or square millimeters. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at this example. Here I have a triangle with six, inch, six inches as my base and eight inches as my height and 10 inches really won't come into play here. Remember, we're only looking at base and height when it comes to area. So let's write it in the equation here. One half times my base, which is six, times my height, which is eight. And this time, instead of multiplying everything across, I'm gonna simplify before I multiply. It makes life a little easier. Let's do two into eight and I'm gonna get a four. Now I can just do six times four, and I will get 24. And remember the label, inches squared. That's your area. One last thing I wanna show you regarding the area of a triangle. You might also get a diagram that looks like this. So they've given you a triangle, but the actual dimensions are a little different than what you need. So remember, we need one half the base. What's the base in this? Well, we actually do have the whole thing. They're telling us the entire base is 12, so we're okay there. But our height, hmm, is our height 10? No, because remember, our height always has to do with those perpendicular lines. So we were lucky here that they gave us, if that line was dropped down and it was made perpendicular, what it would actually be. They gave that to us. So if you had to choose between 9 and 10, you're going to choose the 9 as the height because, again, that's the perpendicular line to the base. All right, now let's go ahead and do the math. 1 half times 12 times 9. And let's simplify ahead of time. 2, 12, 6. 9 times 6 is 54, and where's my label? Centimeters squared. It's really that simple. If you stick to the formula, 1 half base times height, you'll be fine every time. Try some practice problems, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.